Hey, what's up, movie lover badasses? Fat Samurai Guy here, and today I'm gonna check out a trailer. Check it out with me. Come enjoy. <laughs> of the Nice Guys, I never heard of this. The Nice Guys official red band trailer. That's fucking metal. Number one. Uh, this movie stars Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe, so let's check it out. Gotta love red band, man. Gotta love it. Equanimity. Quality of being calm. Oh, Russell Crowe got gut. Messenger service. Even tempered. Mr. March, we gotta play a game. I think you have the wrong house. Oh, it's called Shut Up Unless You're Me. I love that game. You're a private investigator? Just 20 bucks in there, all right? Just take it. No, I'm not here for that. I'm a messenger. Give me your left arm. No! Yeah, come on. No. When you're talking to your doctor, no. you tell him you have a spiral fracture. No! Deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the yellow pages. If you got trouble with someone, you might ask around for me, Jackson Healy. I work for the Department of Justice. My daughter, Amelia. Hey, is Kim Please find her, protect her. Mark, Jack Healy. I'm not here to hurt you, so I'm gonna ask you a question. How stupid do you think I am? I got a license to carry, dumbass. And ever since your little visit, this little baby's gonna stay right here. <laughs> Don't move. There's a couple of people I trust that say you're pretty good at this. I want you to find Amelia. I would have thought your job ended with breaking my fucking arm. You're the guy who beat up my dad. Hey, sucker punched your dad. Big difference. Seen this girl? She's got dark hair. Name's Amelia. What's in it for me? He'll stop doing it. Doing what? Oh, fuck! Dad? Dad, there's like whores here and stuff. Sweetheart, how many times have I told you don't say and stuff? Just say, Dad, there are whores here. There's like whores here and stuff. The mob is trying to spread its operation to Los Angeles. Somehow, Amelia is involved. One thing we know for sure, something funny's going on. The world's worst detective. The world's worst. March! Gun! Gun! Fuck! Shit! Look at the bright side. Nobody got hurt. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying I think they died quickly though, so I don't think that they got hurt. Hmm. All right, that was the nice guys. Oh, uh, it looks kind of fun. I might have to check this out. Um, uh, looks like we got some pretty good dark comedy uh, type of comedy in this movie. And uh, you know me, I love the violence. I like the vibe. I like the music. Uh, was that Mr. Cal? Uh, let me know in the comments below if that was Mr. Cal uh, in the, doing some of the music in the background. I thought that dude was still in prison. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that looks kind of fun. That looks kind of fun. I'll check. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Um, it's nice to see uh, Ryan Gosling back in films. Uh, I always, when I first, you know, got wind of, of Ryan. I was kind of like, oh, I'm going to stay away from this guy. That's the notebook guy, you know, the ladies' man, rom-com guy. And then I started to watch some of his indie films. Um, I can't remember the name of the movie right now, but it was a movie uh, where he played a skinhead, and that was really good, man. That was a really, really good, uh, powerful performance from him, and that was the movie that got him noticed. And then I saw Drive, and I didn't have any expectations with Drive. I wasn't expecting a Fast and the Furious type movie. A friend of mine recommended to me, he said it was very slow burn type of film with really good cinematography and, and, and soundtrack was great and a uh, little action here and there, but it was a different type of film. And so I knew that kind of going in watching Drive and I ended up loving Drive. Drive's one of those movies where if you were okay with it the first time, you'll definitely uh, end up liking it a lot more. Um, 
over time with other repeated viewings. So I highly recommend Drive. Now, only for only God forgives. <laughs> it's either you're going to like it or you're going to hate that movie. There's no middle ground. Uh, only God forgives. I, I liked. Uh, I just it just definitely has its flaws. It's not a great movie, but I still liked it for what it was. Um, one of those deep, you know, movies symbolism. You know, as a film brain would say all the time. But but yeah, this uh, nice guys was kind of fun. We'll see. I I don't know about the director advertising that he directed Iron Man three for this type of movie. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, Iron Man 3 was fun. It was fun. Uh, there was a lot of comedy in it. It was entertaining. It's an entertaining superhero. It just didn't feel like an Iron Man movie to me. And um, definitely, I, I don't know, it's it's debatable. Some people say that that movie's better than Iron Man 2, but that's a, that's a topic for another discussion uh, another day that we can have. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to see Ryan Gosling back uh, making movies again. Uh, I know he was gone for a while. After Gangster Squad, I believe, he decided, he decided, there was rumors going around that he was going to retire from, from acting. And I wouldn't blame him after doing Gangster Squad. <laughs> Damn it, Gangster Squad! Damn it! Oh, I had such high hopes for that movie, and it just kind of turned into me. Uh, but yeah, I believe he directed, he just recently directed a film, which I heard it got mixed reviews, but it's nice to see him on screen again. Uh, he's doing another movie, I believe, with Christian Bale and uh, some other actors. Forgot the name of it as of, as of right now, I can't remember the name. But this looks kind of fun. I see Russell Crowe, uh, always the method uh, actor, uh, gaining weight for this type of role. <laughs> he's trying to look like me, man. He's trying to get like me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks like fun. We'll see. We'll, ha we'll have to see when it comes out. I'll see you guys next time.